Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're here in the depths underneath the Lanayru wetlands region and we are about to go fight Queen Gibdo for the second time ever. But first I'm going to clear out this little mine as a staging ground. That I want a kill bot. Killbot's gotten stuck. Got him, come on. There we go. back up until I've regained my battery. I could do that now. Contributed a little bit to the fight. What now? Okay. That went all right, I suppose. Let's see. What kind of weapons do I have again? Hmm. Let's drop this and then take this beer over here. A Sundalion? <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, got her. And what else do we have to pick up? Okay. So now I have a, I guess, staging area. Come on, I'm not too far away to grab those. Uh, I was hoping to get both of those crates. I drop it on top of a zonite deposit. Will it break the deposit? Hmm. Looks like no. That's a shame. Let's see here. This will make a good mining tool. Not a very powerful sword. Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Probably should have. Careless of me. And just clear out a bit more treasure here. So, a couple more of these. Hmm, that's getting a little bit further away and close to that next enemy camp. Okay, I'd say we're done with all of that. these do I? I was a little bit concerned because I know that Queen Gibdo is going to drop something really good for fusing. So I wanted a decent weapon to fuse it to, but I already had one. Alright, that works. Keep hoping it'll break both of them. <laughs> now, how to approach this? Will I get beams of light that uh, hurt the Gibdos when I destroy those hives? 
I kind of doubt it. And that turned out to be incredibly important in the original fight. Did my killbot despawn? It did, didn't it? Blast it. I guess I walked too far away. Humph. What is that? Oh, just some baby foxes. No big deal. I was going to start by having Killbot do some sniping. Can I get a better picture? Can you turn toward me, please? very uncooperative. Granted, that's kind of the whole point about monsters in general, particularly bosses. Okay, where's... Where are the rest of my helpers? Never mind. Oh, come on. There she is. I forgot about this little detail. Oh darn it, I can't destroy those things yet. That's not fun. No joy. guys. Ah! If that stinks. Oh, come on. One of you Get close enough so I can talk to you. Um, where am I? There I am. They're gloomed also? That's annoying. Where is she? Where is she? Where is Raiju? There she is. Why 
Are you kidding me? That's... Get over here, Raiju! Where... Over the love of Pete, not this. Get down! That's, um, not what I was hoping for. Raiju, where are you? Okay. I need to put on some lightning protection, like now. Still one more of those things. I kind of forgot about that. Raiju? Raiju? Ah! That is irritating! Got rid of that nonsense. Okay, let's see here. Come on. If I wasn't so well equipped, that would have been rougher. <laughs> that would have been a lot rougher. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. <laughs> Looks like a giant fingernail. Or maybe a scale off of a giant fish. 
but it's it, you know it can't be either of those things okay hmm Queen give to win. Okay. Hmm. Darn it, that's not what I was hoping for. Because wing... Uh, wings do one of two things. Either they create a gust of wind, or they allow you to throw or shoot a lot further. I was hoping it was going to be the first. Evidently not. Oh. Don't want to forget that. That's actually kind of disappointing. I rather expected it was going to be a piece of armor. Hmm. Just crystallized charges, though. Well, the fight went reasonably well. I'm fairly satisfied. There were some clumsy spots, but by and large, didn't really have too much trouble with her. About to find out. Okay. Well, with that done, I think this one's Goma. I think. I don't remember if I've ever beaten this particular Goma. Let's take a quick peek over there. Looks like I have, because I don't see the treasure chest there anymore. And that thing attached to that shield is ridiculous. Okay, so I've beaten this Goma, and I've beaten this Gibdo Queen. What's in here?
Another Goma. And this one I haven't beaten yet. How's it compare? Eh, I like the old picture. All right then. Yeah, I remember that Goma was surprisingly easy. The first time I beat it. Nobo, that was ridiculous. Oh, I can't see now. Oh. Really? Wow, that went pretty quick. Me off the exact moment that I finished them off. Went, went about as well as I could ask for. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Either one of these would be decent. Okay. That's a solid weapon right there. And of course, let's get into the center of the ring here. More crystallized charges, I'll bet. Yep. Honestly, a bit disappointing. Okay, and what do I find here?
Oh, it's the Muckdurok. Hmm. It's been a while since I faced that guy. I still have yeah this thing yeah I'm not too pleased about this thing the fan that was supposed to direct it around the battlefield didn't do anything back during the first Mukhtarok fight so overall the idea was sound but You know, but that one little part of it that needed some work okay what if I just make it like so 48 zone I, that's not too expensive But still, considering one part of it didn't actually help at all. You know, I've, I would like to remake it. Okay. Let's actually do that. So, I originally made it here, on the hill behind the Colosseum Ruins. So let's take a quick trip there, see if we can fix this up a little bit. Make the floating hydrant platform, but without that fan part, which didn't accomplish anything originally. Okay, so we need to go over there, and since we're going to be taking a quick dive down to the ground, ooh, dazzle fruit. It's raining and we're about to make a water spewing device. Since it's wet. Okay, let me see here. Okay. How did I originally make this thing? Okay, so I only need the four poles. I need eight hydrants and a hover stone. Cancel. <laughs> ah! Okay, that annoys me.
Okay, so I got four hydrants attached directly to the wheel. And then four more at the end of those poles. Okay, so that means... A hoverstone. And eight of those. Okay, and these... The sages are kind of in the way at the moment. There we go. Okay, a good flat area. That'll do. doing that. What? Was it doing this to me before? just annoys me. Why is it doing that? It looks like they're straight on this. Okay, yeah, that looks like they're... Well... No, it looks like they're Looks like they aren't, you know, bent like this one. How come all of a sudden it's acting like this? Come on! That's just ridiculous. irritated here but I think I'm starting to get why it's doing that for some reason it's fusing specifically with the uh, edge of the pole instead of the middle which is weird why is it doing that
I guess it doesn't really matter, but... It is pretty irritating. Okay, what happens... If I take the wheel off... And fuse it like this... I don't understand why it's fusing with the edge of the pole instead of the middle. That's just weird. Okay, that seemed to work, so why isn't it working on the wheel? Finally, I got one to get on straight. I think. Yeah, it looks straight enough. It's not bent. Focusing on the edge and not the center. Oh, darn it. I thought I had it for a moment there. doesn't work. Darn it, the real problem here I was about to say, the real problem here is that I have to make it from scratch Because otherwise, I'll just get the uh, I, the construction with the fan. But it's occurred to me that if I just go ahead and make that construction, Go ahead and do that, and then yeah, got to make sure I 
Okay. Okay. That's what I want. Come on, you blasted thing. Why isn't the finished product I just got in my history? <sighs> okay. Maybe taking it apart like that isn't good enough. I have to actually put it together. All right. Let's take one of these off. And then put it back on. There we go. Man, this gets frustrating sometimes. After all this time, I still don't fully understand how this works. Okay. Remove that. Add that. Makes for a much tighter area to have the those hydrants on the bottom. All right, I make maybe two of those. Put them up over the uh, Muck Rock uh, arena, and that should do the trick. Cobo horn that I threw at it. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed that I had to sacrifice a fan and a construct head to make this work, but well, it worked. You do what you gotta do. And it's not like I can't replace them. kind of curious about that uh, that um, shooting star over there let's go get a bird's eye view now that I've built a uh, muck to rock foiling device a proper one without the superfluous extra. Now let's see. Where was that shooting star? It was to the south, so kind of down that way. That way, yeah? Eh, 
Close enough, I guess. Working on that. And I even see the rocks I have to move. So it was kind of down here. Yep, there we go. Back to the muck to rock. I don't know how long this is going to take. Staying warm down here. Let's see, how best to approach this? then. Okay, that uh... 
Um, okay, hold on. He actually destroyed that thing. their side on timing. Try something new. I don't, where are you?
Okay. Battery's about to go away. That's kind of annoying. So it looked like the problem there was that I could only have one of those things active at a time and every time I made a new one the old ones just went away. Hmm. That was actually kind of a disappointing haul. please. covers such a small area that the oc that the muck rock had far too easy a time just moving somewhere else on the battlefield gotten towards the end of the episode so I'd say nothing else right now I wonder what's here yeah muck to rocks drop rather disappointing halls just you know, Octorok balloons and Octorok tentacles. Way that I can't see from here. Oh, it's another Queen Gibdo, is it? At least it's easily recognizable from even this great a distance.
All right. Well, unfortunately, yes, we have run out of time. So, thank you very much for watching Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the next episode, I guess we'll start with that. We took down a uh, sister of hers at the start of this episode, so we know we can do it. And then, I'm thinking maybe go north and take on the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the King Gleok that lives in here. It's been long enough that I think it's time to give a, take a crack at one of those. So that's my plan for the next episode. See you then.